It is the 18th of uh, the 18th of Methame of Samrod. The winds have picked up. It feels like the pressure is dropping. Uh, it's been hot outside, especially for this part of Albion so far north. 74 degrees during the day, dropping to 57 at night. There are a few clouds and they are high and streaked as if painted um, by brush. Um, it seems like the weather will get worse in a few days. Um, and as usual, it is uh, the evening of sunny day. Oh, wait. Also, which um, which inn are you going to tonight, John? Are you going to the Lodge or the Bristleback Inn? I'll also tell you what the Lodge earns either way, and you'll earn it I, either way. I think we'll go to the Lodge. Very well. At the lodge tonight, uh, several people have come by this week. Um, Jay, you all have earned 18 gold pieces for the lodge in the past week. Uh, most of them adventurers that have come by, they've gathered stories and kind of listened and wondered at your tales and things, but... Uh, but for most, the work of the Hounds of the Pine is far too dangerous, and they left. All but one. You already have the mercenaries there. I said that there were a bunch of mercenaries over two weeks. Um, in the lodge tonight, there is someone coming or uh, looking for work, and uh, they, uh, they approach you, uh, as has become the case. Unlike when you first started, it is no longer you all trying to find people to help you or trying to find work. Rather, people come to you. Um, it's a man, an old man, named Garbon. And uh, he claims to come from Iran. Um, and he says, uh, and he's a, um, he does not look fit for adventuring fact that's clear that he's another one of these bookish or esoteric types and and he says uh, I have some talents that I think could be useful to you approaches your table and asks asks for you to take him into the, the bowels of Rapanothic Magnus I believe this is your type yes uh, but what are those talents I've studied for a long time. I can call on the on the other um, if you've if you've heard of this. I'm sure you have. Uh, I can uh, I can do things that are beyond what mortals can do. But I would only use it for to help. Uh, but I can uh, I can summon a, a blast of destruction. I can slay a person instantly. And also, I'm an expert in many languages. And I can, uh, and, and in cultures and archaeology. Well, I, uh, I leave it to you, Caden, to decide. I look at him a slightly, slightly sidelong, wondering if I should trust him. He says, what? Have you never met a, a, a dabbler in magic before? He has no idea who you are, yeah. Do you have a letter of recommendation from any reputable uh, centers of learning? I do. Uh, he has a, a a a purse, you know. It's a coin purse, and then he carries with him a big tome, um, and he's got all sorts of things, uh, 
different things that he studied and uh, different uh, what do you call it um, well vellum and scrolls and things and and he it's easy for him to show that he is he is the expert he claims to be well I worry for your safety we have uh, we've lost many of your type in the dungeon I must concur it is no small thing to delve well I would expect uh, for you to to protect me uh, if you don't feel the, that you could do that I I, I would not want to endanger myself. I've worked very hard to try to study these things, and I've traveled very far. Uh, perhaps I could, should go speak to the Jagged Blade instead. Well, uh, uh, my on. concern is this. How quickly can you retreat in a moment of crisis? Are you still a... Do you still have good wind at your age? He, he uh, raises up a... A hairy ankle. He's like, these things can go when they need to, young man. The Jagged Blades, what, what have you heard of them? Oh, they're a famous adventuring group here in, um, in Zelkor's Ferry. They've, they've, uh, it's said that they've journeyed into, um, Rapanothic. Why, some people say they've, they've defended and saved the city itself sometimes. Magnus snorts. I, we have yet to run into these fellows. Who are these guys? Oh. Well, uh... I don't oh. recall any buildings that they have uh, provided funds for. I'm not sure of these guys. I would understand if you'd... Perhaps they have more expertise and I should go there. It, it sounds like you'd be worried for my safety and that you're taking a, a large risk and I... I honor you for, uh, for being brave, but uh, I would want to know that people could protect me. I don't know. I, so he's got one good magic missile in him, and that's nothing to sneeze at. But like, well, we don't we're, we're going to the first. We're going to the first floor, right? No, yeah. oh, but that's where we got bushwhacked and massacred at one time. Yeah, and then Bad and then the, and then the floor with the assuming you can you know tell me how to get to the and the other place too the the damp hall is the that was the second thing. Well, what does everybody think? Does anybody want to take it? Or? What are his languages and archaeologist expertise? Uh, being like, what languages does he speak? Yes, I specialize in the history of these islands, especially where I'm from. Um, Arain, uh, the, the Isle of Arain, to the west of here. Uh, <clears throat> and so, uh, uh, there's an ancient language of peoples that once ruled this place called the Serpent Tongue. And uh, their, their ways and, uh, and uh, symbols and uh, glyphs, are, they're known to me. My friend. Oh? Let me show you something. Yes? Oh, boy. I'll just, I'll just, I'll take him aside and, and uh, I want to suss out his willingness to hang around. Uh, well, what are his rates? He wants a standard pay, which is half of a sheriff treasure. Okay. I'd like to, uh, can, I, I want to, before I walk, I, I'm going to walk away with him to the bar and then say, wait here for a second, go back to uh, Father Blumbad or and or Caden and say, uh, could you have a look at this man's soul for me, please? I, I should also note yeah. he he also wants will want to if you find something strange he'll want time to look at it. Yeah, I will use my detect evil, and I will use to detect magic. All right, um, uh, as you all like bow and and prayer and and commune with the light, you can you can sense that. Um, Obviously, his book is uh, is magical. Let me see, actually, if uh, this other thing is. Um, I think not, but I will check. Hmm. Nope, just his book. And uh, he is um, perfectly neutral. You see no dis difference between him and Magnus. Oh, he seems fine. Here, let's bring him along. Yeah, I mean... Okay, so... 
Sorry, go ahead, Father Blumbath. My I imagine this is guaranteed is... damage, you know? If we run into something powerful, at least we know we can... My only concern how the character is his reputation, for our reputation, rather. I think having what reputation, what do you mean? Well, we don't where, want to, where we want to bring us. it back alive. If we Most bring of it. the people we brought have died. Well, that's, that's just the thing. I've I've seen enough of these folks go in and not come back out. I'd rather and and, and it it uh, has an impact on the morale of our of our men here. I mean, if we're gonna take an old man and he's not gonna come back alive, like we we've got a survival rate of uh, every time we go in there, someone dies pretty much. I'd rather not bring this old man. I would that feel bad. If he died. Like Do okay. you think he'd be better protected by the jagged blade? I uh, are those even them. real? I've never seen them. Well, we've heard of them before, certainly. They, they... Yeah, well, we'll have no, to no, investigate we... them. So. Yeah. We should look into those guys, because like I, I'm not sure if they're just a confu if they're a different name for us that people have confused us for, or something like that. Because I've I've never run into. Them. Are they real? Are they here now? Ross, are the Jagged Blades, like, real guys? So, one thing is, you're at the Hound's Lodge, so this place is kind of an exclusive club. Um, I will yeah. note that you've only been back to the Bristleback Inn in the previous weeks a couple times. Mm. Um, right. So, yeah, we'll yeah, a lot has gone on there, um, and it almost kind of represents a place where, you know, you guys don't hang out. Like, you know, that's like the that's the place for losers now. Um, and like the cool people come here to the Hound's Lodge. Um, so, uh, well, maybe next time we'll look into them. I also want to say, hey, hey, hey Dan, uh, I, I, I'm sorry if this is meta, but I'm just too excited to note because I love this. In my opinion, the great thing about Magic Missile is when you face a high level magic user or cleric and you Trump. they're about to they're about to cast a spell, you know that you can interrupt it. And you know you can. So long as you win initiative, you can stop them from casting that spell. And that could that could mean the difference between life or death, you know. I love that's why I love magic missile. Anyways. I believe we can protect him. Yeah. I mean, I'm for bringing him. All right. As long as we understand that bringing him with us means we will prioritize his well-being yeah. over short-term gain. Um which uh what what sort of thing should I uh, focus on? Should I just be prepared to, to, to do this thing that I know, uh, being able to summon a force of destruction? Is that, is that what you have? Yes. I mean, unless it, that's a pretty good reliable. But I'd, uh, yes, I, I believe you should. Yes. For the most part, we will be treating you as uh, a client who we will be escorting through the dungeon for your uh, oh. and protecting. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, so, if we encounter something which uh, a malicious wielder of magics who might be attempting to cast some sort of god awful Dwyomer upon us, it will behoove you to ensure that they don't do that. I uh, I don't mean to be. A, I'll be a little meta again. He is a, a John. He is a level two magic user, and so he can have either you know read magic or or magic missile. So he can have two magic yeah. missiles if you'd prefer. Yeah. Okay. All right. Excellent. 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 He gathers his things, lifts his, his robe to, uh, up to... <clears throat> I'm going to take him aside and suss out his willingness, should things go well, to... Uh, would his... Would, well, let me, let me ask you. Would his help... Would he help? Would his presence help with the Mages Guild? Or can I... Uh, I think so eventually. So I, I think on two ends there, one thing, no magic user is willing to share their spells. Uh, only at great cost would they ever do that. Um, but would they help with magical things to profit their own studies? Yes, of course. No, I have a lot of first level spells, all of them, in fact. If nice. he doesn't, I might have something he's willing to trade for. Yeah. So... Yeah. Anyway, I just want to kind of wow him a little bit with my, uh, since he speaks Serpentine, I'm going to introduce him to Zuvnu. Oh, wow. <laughs> and uh, and uh, ex explain a little bit about, uh, you know, what we're up to and what we're trying to build here. 
And, he uh, almost can play tic-tac-toe. <laughs> yeah, Fergus is down there too. Uh, <laughs> the toes, remember? Yeah, so you're right. We can introduce him to Fergus and everything uh, with just a little bit of the evening, and then uh, and then leave him with something to think about. He is fascinated and just just absolutely just blown away that you have this creature of of uh, from the underworld, and uh, he so badly wants to study it uh he speaks its language and he actually talks to it in a kind of you know if you've ever i mean i have been in this experience but you study a language but you never actually have been immersed in it to actually speak it yeah. right and like that's him and so he has to have kind of almost like a pigeon version of of the serpent tongue to be able to talk to it but uh he, he he's like this alone if you just give him access to zuvnu in fact because you do that, he's willing to... He says that if you let him come here and study Zuvnu, um, he will help you all and he'll wave his feet for uh, for at least the first Ooh, trip. Yeah, oh, nice. Right. Yo. Well, in that case, we definitely have to keep him alive. Otherwise, it would just be straight up rude. I guess we're going to leave somebody to guard Zuvnu as well. Yeah, for sure. We don't One want to get out thing. of where we're going. I want to make absolutely certain this guy has quality footwear. Because we, <laughs> I want to make sure this guy can run if he has to. Right. I'm also I'm also going to leave Rex behind. Uh, okay. Um, because we've got we're starting to pile up the. Uh, yeah. So I'm just bringing I'm just bringing the knock in because I know we want to go after that one trapped chest, and see what we can see about it. Cool. Maybe I can get this wizard to be my henchman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, just because he's a wizard doesn't mean that like Magnus has to be the the guy, right? Like you can also. Someone else can try to start trying to fund him, if you will, fund his yeah, research, right. well, become I'm sure a patron, not <laughs> patron of the of the of the, of, of the academia here. Anyways, yeah. um, what uh, is his subject? Is that, well, I'm sorry, I wasn't here. But what's his general subject? He claimed. Yeah, sorry. Archaeology. He claims. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Along with magic missile and read magic. And did he talk about ever being a teacher anywhere by any chance? I don't think so, no. Okay, he does have a letter of recommendation from a uh, reputable uh, center of learning, which is, gotta say, way more than most of our applicants show up with. Right. And I, I bought a new horse, so you don't have to bring yours anymore. Oh, cool, cool. Nice. All right, John, there's nothing else of note going on here tonight. Well, I think we'll head out in the morning, then. Very well. Um, What's our new friend's name? Uh, it uh, is uh, Gerbum. Gerbum, which I think there was already a Gerbum, but here's another one. Name's repeat. The wizard? Oh, okay. Gerbin. It's a more realistic. Uh, well, you, uh, you prepare as usual. By the way, Gerbum has a, he has a horse uh, of note. He's a wealthy person. Oh, nice. Um, so, um, you... Uh, um, you prepare in the morning as usual. You head out the first gate, uh, and it kind of like um, Zelkor sits in this narrow. I think we came. Up, the word was isthmus or whatever. Like it's this narrow land, and then it com comes up to like a peninsula type thing uh, that's rocky, and then all the stuff sits on it. So then uh, the the second gate is past that isthmus and inland. Then there's like this new um, palisade that's been built there and there's a bunch of new structures and as you head to the second gate uh, you see um, there are people gathered here um, and uh, in the winds uh, uh, Caden you see one of your acolytes um, in robes they have given tattered robes to maybe a dozen or so other people these people look uh, like Many of the poor of this place, the workers, live among the tenements. And he's preaching and he says, um, we, we won't be like Dougal. We'll stay together. We'll see this, our quest through by the will of the light. Um, and and he's, he's giving, you know, this, this sermon to try to stir everybody up. It looks like they're about to leave on foot into the wilderness. And you hear him mention that your other acolyte, Dougal, uh, you know, he said he won't be like them. 
Huh. So like Dougal your must have gone missing. Has, has Dougal Brown missing? I don't... You don't I've know. Have I seen him? If so, uh, it must have been recently. I want to go up to him and ask him what's what's going on here. Uh, when when you approach, you all approach on horseback, and and when you get off your horse, Caden, and come up, you know, with your, uh, you know, your armor on and everything, like prepared for for your journey, um, everyone uh, gets on their knees and bows to you. Please, please stand. Uh, I am but a humble servant of the light. Uh, they, That's true. He's very humble. They they stand, but they're they're still kind of like looking down. Uh, and uh, your your acolyte Giliosa uh, takes uh, he 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 um what did we come up with for the well he greets you anyways in the the most humble way possible, and he says um uh he says uh. Um, Father's Caden, Father's Bloombad. We're going on a holy quest. We've decided. We felt it. We know. We're headed out the gates. Will you lead us? Well, these... you know, there are many ways to serve the light. I, uh, I'm not sure these people are best served going out to the wilderness. Unprepared as they look. How unprepared do these people look? Very. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> yeah, like Wait. uh. It would be pointless to uh, die for with nothing to accomplished. Where are y'all going? What's your What's your plan? We We go to march against the, the the beasts of chaos, and to 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 show them the justice of the light as you do. Wait, you mean vague anything you run into type beasts of chaos? That's you don't have a target? They, they look at each other and they're like, well, 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 what do you do? We plan what we're going to do and how we're going to do it, what we're going to bring with us, and then other stuff attacks us. But that's not the point. <laughs> we plan <laughs> no, for we, something. Uh... So we at least have a preparation. And, and you, it's admirable that you wish to fight and protect your, your, your homes, but... One of them but, yells in exultation, the light is our preparation! That's not how cheer. it works. <laughs> but <laughs> it's not? What do you mean? <laughs> such, st they such, wish such stout hearts would surely be best served bolstering the defenses of this of this vital place for the light. Yes, the church how, must be how, protected how could, as how well. could, Yes, how could we, in good conscience, leave this place on our adventures if we didn't know it was protected by such as yourselves? That's how I got started. I feel that you should, you should, you should have your acolytes lead these people in, in, in perhaps some, um, get some help from you know like troops and stuff and maybe lead them in, in uh, drilling and, and preparations and learning how to be proper guardians of this town and you know they're going to be needed at the gates at some point and maybe even in a in a future foray where we I all would, go out I and would, forth i would accept some of you for guard duty at the temple as well uh they they kind of chaos from evading the, the temple they they, they had they... problems at the temple yeah, they, they mumble, and then the, your acolyte, uh, Giliosa, he, he says, um, uh, Father's uh, Bloombad and, and Caden, what what would you have us do? Did, is our duty best spent here? Uh, we were ready to give our lives. Don't do we must do yes, as the God light that, tells us. <laughs> yes, I believe the light wishes for you to remain here as guards. I don't tell others how to interpret what the light says to them. I just follow what the light shows me. Look where the light shines, and that is where I go. Father Bluebath is right. A lot of shade in the forest. There's a lot more light over here. Flan Flanagan's been sort of just holding back on his horse and, and is listening, and, and he says, I'm just going to give it to you all straight. I'm not burying your damn bodies 
inside the inside the walls or outside the walls. I've seen too many die and you're the type that dies. Get back in there and train yourselves up. I can tell already. I can smell the death on you if you walk out into that forest. Now get back in there. And he, <laughs> yeah. And yeah. he just like goes off into the like goes yeah. off into the 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 rage I'm glad of someone said it. <laughs> the rage of Flanagan like you know uh, cows these people but uh, but Gilioza comes up to to Kane and is like is is it is it true can you train us to to be guards will will we will we defend our home is that what you what, do you think that that's what we should do yes I, I believe for the moment that that is the best way for you to serve the light. All right, now there's about a dozen of these people. Um, I will probably just use the mercenary rate, and they need to be trained, which is like three times the mercenary rate. Uh, but then you would have like a temple guard for the yeah. place. Um, but yeah, okay. That would be nice. All right. Um, okay. I, I will ask what what happened to the the brother that went missing. Oh, uh, Dougal. Or he. Dougal. He took 20 of, uh, there were about 30 of us, and he took 20 of, of, of our, uh, our, follow, our disciples, and they already left. They, they left in the night, uh, but they left in small groups. They, they didn't stay together. I thought it was foolish of them, and I decided at best we march off together. Well, perhaps you have a little bit more sense than them, but... We well, should... should... We should ride hard and catch up. We should try to catch them, yes. Okay. Um, if we run out of them. Right. What a waste. Yeah, really. It's Act like a dozen. Or... The fire of the light burns bright, but it can burn a man out. Yes. Indeed. That's the light's will. <laughs> Let's go fetch <laughs> <guys> somewhere <laughs> specific. Let's go save these candles to burn sometime when there's actually dark. Yeah. So, oh Light yeah. Light a candle in daylight is a waste. You you have a ranger, so you're gonna try to track them. Is that is that your goal? Oh right, yeah, well, I can do that. I'll go did find. Did they them. go somewhere specific or? Um. Well, I initially, another thing is they don't have your maps and they don't know. I yeah. I, I want to remind you all like how big this area is, just outside of your I side here. I think we're unlikely to find them. No, no, you have a ranger. You could try oh, to yeah. find them but th i just wanted to note what they're from their point of view right because you've done this like 30 times now or something i don't know yeah. like you all have done this a lot uh but Pretty these cool. people don't have maps and the span of distance just in in your vision is six miles and this whole place is like 25 miles okay wow. that's just this local area uh and they're on foot you know these are people that probably have never left a 10 mile area in their life you know they've they've lived and died in the same place. They've never went that far. Um, I will tell you um, that something you find that's surprising, Dalton. You can see their trail. Uh, if you commit to that course of action, John, you'll you'll travel a ways on the road, about four miles. Uh, if you follow the road on horseback, you'll probably still make it. You know that, but you'll either sacrifice your patrol sweep or you'll need to go back. And then you may not make it in a day, so that's that's the downside. Um, what do you guys think? If we have to wait a day, then we wait a day. Big deal. Yeah, I I, I mean, yeah. I don't think we should let those uh, enthusiastic folks stay out in the woods too long alone. Yeah, yeah I, I think do. we should try to catch them. If now, left in the middle of the night, they could have been eaten by those spiders by now. And, but, and well, if they've been eaten already, I'll be somewhat impressed. That is the something against that. That's something you notice, Dalton. So you get to you get to this kind of um, salty, sandy, kind of swampy area here, uh, and you've got the old stone statue just down to its foundation, and um, it's now got grass and weeds ro grown up all around and over it, and vine and ivy and stuff, and. You come up to this point, and uh, you can see that um, they have trod out these roads. One road leads up here to uh, where they cut stone uh, and gather stone, and uh, another road leads down into uh, the forest, to a forest camp that you all established last season. Um, and you can tell that they're, they're 
trails at this point kind of scatter off in multiple directions. For 20 people, uh, they have completely scattered all over the place. You, you can see that some have gone here. You can see indications that some did seem to just disappear. Uh, and then, like, straight up disappeared. Like, they started off into the, in, into the wild, perhaps to set up camp, uh, and then just disappeared, like the trail ends. And then you see somewhere it goes down into the road here. So, um, so yeah, it, they basically scattered all over the, the wilderness. In small groups. Well, people are dumb as rocks. Well, I think we will take the road. Yeah, we can cover more ground that way. I'll keep an eye out for them. If we find some, we do. We can't yep, spend the whole time doing that. This right. is a really impressively bad decision these people made. I, I, yeah. At some point, there's a yeah. limit to how much heroism I can do. Like, well, I'm only. Yeah. <laughs> if, I may have um, been led into the darkness. If it weren't for the fact that one of the acolytes is with them, I would say, unfortunately, this may save the lives of the rest of them. Uh huh. All right. Uh, so the is just a regular doesn't. person. He's not a, anything. I know, but he's still one of your acolytes. I feel right. particularly attached to him. So there's some. So some went this way, and some went this way. But basically, they, a, they sort of fanned out across this direction. Am I getting this right? Yeah, and then some went this way, and then the trail abruptly ends without any marking. That one is the one we should check. Yeah, that one's weird as really? heck. I want to see what's going on there. Because, like, okay. did something snatch them up out of the earth? Are there gigantic case, flying monsters? Maybe I'll find maybe a huge feather. Let's check it out. You want to check that out? That's or the just weirdest thing. Right. Yeah. All okay, right. Well, Hold on, I gotta maybe, get maybe stuff we'll for this. Maybe we'll approach there and we'll get attacked by an ank egg. Something will burrow oh, out of the ground or from the sky. A what? Come on! Oh! Don't call down ank oh, eggs on us. Ank eggs like a big insect. Brewing insect. I hate oh, okay. Now, well, eggs are good for niece. farmland. Yes, exactly. But add for Answer everyone them. else. Yeah. If it has to be a bug, at least an ant like bug is my best shot. I hate bugs. All right. Uh, let's see here. Um. Gotta it was do aliens. A couple of things. I'm not saying it was aliens, but it was aliens. <laughs> it was aliens. <laughs> I, I do, this does kind of make me think, is this other nonsense? Is this other world shenanigans? That's what I think, too. And I'm, like, I, I'm sure that, like, we're talking to uh, Gerben, and it's like, is it always this confusing? And we're like, yeah, it's always this confusing. This sort of thing is always happening. I mean, there was also a big flying thing we saw fly overhead at least once, too, right? Oh, let's True. not have that come back. A wyvern or something. That was like a dragon or something. Like that. Yeah, I don't know. I hope not. That struck me as like a dragon. Yeah, it could be. So that means there's instant death available at any time at our our home base, because yeah. it's not so much yeah. worrying about it picking up one of us, because we're like nothing. Yeah. But a huge gathering of people, that's something it could go after. Yeah. I'm less worried about it attacking us on the road than us in town. <laughs> Or them in town. That, that strike. I think Ross wants us to keep coming back to the game, so I don't think that will happen. That's so we retreat into the bunker. Could be a random the, encounter. The wizard That'd be, guild. Bunker. That's not a random encounter. That's a random campaign arc. That's true. <laughs> um. Let's see here. Oh, what is that picture of the bug? <laughs> That's Ant gross. Uh, Outer limits. Okay. Who's that? <clears throat> so, oh, 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 you did it to me. You're horrible. Uh, all right. So something happens. Uh, you you depart the path. Uh, you're following Dalton. You know, Dalton. You check. You 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 kind of do what you need to to check to see where it could have their trail could have dispersed. You try to see if maybe an animal could have caused it uh, or, or what. And you look around and and you see instead a horse path uh and you immediately recognize the horse path it's it's garbin's horse and you look around and garbin is gone oh no not this again for the love of is anybody right. else here by the way russ your uh your webcam is not on or is being funky oh is it oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's on for me. Yeah. Maybe it's it was on for me. Yeah. It's bouncing. Oh, there we really? It's back. Okay. What do, you mean, what do you mean that he's gone? Like that Garbin it's... is. Yeah, you all have like followed Dalton and, you know, you're clopping along. Dalton stops. He's looking at some things. He sees the trail. Dal Dalton looks back at the rest of you. So this is what Flanagan would see. And then you just see a, sh a shocked expression on Dalton's face. And you look around and Garbin is just gone. Oh. Troop, troop together. What about his horse? Wait. His horse his horse there? Did his horse leave a trail? His horse left the trail. Okay. Uh, we'll follow it. Hold it up a second. I oh, get my okay. rope out of my pack and. How are we going to do this with horses? Okay. I, I never, I never had this happen before. But you've all talked about it. You lost your shadows and seen peacocks and chess sets and all kinds of sh shit that I don't want to see. Yeah, um, don't put anything in your mouth. Either. Don't eat anything weird. You see, just. Are we already in it, or can we back out of this somehow, or what? No, if we don't, we need to save our friend. We have to. We have. Who's our friend? The guy we just met. Yeah, we have to come oh, back. Oh, okay. took on a responsibility to wow. bring him back alive so that we don't look like the sort of people who keep killing everyone who comes to visit us. What did or I tell us. you all about bringing old men like this? Is exactly the thing. Now he's gone off into some goddamn place. He's going to come back with half a shadow or something. Look, he's the sort who'll have fun with it. Don't worry about it. Look, yeah, here is a seems like he'll enjoy it. I, well, would, I have fun. a 50-foot rope. I would like each of you to keep a firm grip upon your span of it. And lead your horse on foot. We, I will. I want to ensure that no more of us get abruptly whisked away by unknown means. Damn it! I'm on winter. I like winter. Well, I'm you can a, stay I'm on top of your horse. No, no, I don't mean that. I mean I'm just worried about losing the horse. I like okay. winter. You can stay yeah. on the horse. It's fine. No, just yeah, anyway, I will take basic steps to ensure that we are like not going to accidentally wander apart without realizing it, and then I will simply follow his trail. Okay. Yeah. That Please good. let me know if the sky changes color or the sun moves abruptly across oh, the yes. sky. If there's any other major adjustments to the firmament that I should be aware of. I'm going to off too. Sprinkle some chalk ahead to see if it falls differently every once in a while, like every 10, 15 feet. I'm going to throw chalk forward. Okay. Yeah. What did you say, Heretic? Let's sound off in tandem. Okay. All right. Over and over again, so we don't lose track of each other. Yeah, you. Roger. You do yeah, that. Yeah, and, um, <clears throat> in fact, the the various things that you you do to, particularly Dalton, uh, to notice a difference, like uh, you, you're waiting for some kind of difference, and there's that experience of like uh, the sun beaming down and then being covered by a cloud. And then it's almost like, you know, the cloud uncovers the sun, but when it does, the sun is gone. Um, and instead, the sky is a sickly yellow um, all around oh. you. And, uh, is this what you all saw before? Yeah, we're, we're back at the other worlds, it seems. Forgive the oh, watermark. Yeah. I didn't have a photo of what, where, what you, where you all went. I didn't have a thing of it, so I had to use a... But anyways, I'll tell you what. No, this is cool. So you <clears throat> you, you look up. Uh, so you, you're watching for these signs. Uh, you're, you're sounding off. And each of you have these moments, these moments of transition. Uh, so I won't go over all of them. But in Dalton's case, it's the sun obscure or the clouds obscuring the sun. And when the cloud moves, uh, the sun is no longer there. And instead, the entire sky is filled with just a sickly yellow. And, uh, and Dalton, you, you look down from the clouds and uh, are disoriented as you see something that wasn't there before. As you look ahead of you, you can see uh, a hedgerow, a tall hedgerow surrounding a garden. And you see a path moving into the garden. And you realize that you've entered into this garden. You can actually see uh, a line of, of short, just a hedge around you. And you could turn around and go back the other way. But inside of this garden, you see elegant, classical-style statues. Realist-style statues, I suppose. Uh, um, statues that wouldn't have been seen in this part of the world for a long time. 
and uh, not made like this anyways. Um, and uh, very realist. And they depict people, some of them surprised or frightened. Some of the statues looking as if they were in great pain. Um, some of the statues oh, are overgrown with ivy, looking as if they have been here for a very long time. And uh, you don't see anything else of note here, except that uh, um, you recognize that a couple of the statues are of people like. that you've seen in Zelkor's Ferry before. Uh. You don't know them, but you've seen them before. And they resemble uh, these people. Um, now, you're a ranger, so like you can track people. And that's your goal. Um, mm -hmm. The horse tracks lead onward further in. Uh, wow. Beyond the hedgerow into a path ahead. Um, and uh, as well as some indication that it's been disturbed at some point. Something that two things did not make sense. One is that you can tell that there has been foot traffic further into this garden beyond the hedgerow and into the path beyond. And secondly, that the two people you recognize from Zilkor's Ferry are covered in vine and ivy as if they've been here for a very, very long time. Well, time Ooh. is different here, I hear. Well, that's very bad. I. All right, huddle. Yeah. So here's the deal. We all see the statues. We all know what those mean. This is a place where men end and become stone. Gerben is still ahead of us. He may still be alive. We may be able to rescue him. Entering will be dangerous. It will expose us to peril, as well as peculiar opportunities. Are you comfortable moving forward into this risk? I am. Flanagan? I vote no. I okay. never wanted to bring this man in the first place. Fair enough. Magnus? I keep wanting to answer for him. Magnus, I, I think... Ma skipping Magnus because he has a microphone problem. Alaric? Okay. I don't want to go, but my word is my bond. So okay. we're going. I'm going. I don't know if we're going, but I'm going. Okay. Father Blumbed? What about Perfect. Magnus? Magnus, what do you think? I think uh, he can't. Magnus is truly indecisive, but finds his struggle with his conscience. He he loses it, and he and he sighs deeply. So be it. So he won the struggle. Good. <sighs> Flying it also sighs. Okay. As you all are talking about this and deciding what to do. Uh, you hear a, a yawning noise uh, as something from behind one of the statues and uh, it uh, it walks out from behind it. It is a black cat. It looks up at you lazily oh, no. and annoyed. Good evening, monsieur. Uh, it, forgive uh, us. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, forgive us for, for awakening you. It was not our attention. I'm looking at Caden like there's something wrong with his head. Uh, the black cat responds. It says, uh, Oh, I suppose I forgive you. I was having a nap. Uh, you are making quite a bit of noise. We apologize. A friend of ours has wandered ahead by accident. We were hoping to retrieve them before they came to any harm. Oh, well, you should probably hurry then. I think they'll come to that harm rather quickly. We shan't. We shan't waste time then. Thank you for your time. Thank you, and be well. <sighs> I, I and then it, some of my rations. It it waves it off. That looks disgusting. And then it goes back okay. behind the statue and goes to sleep. I look directly to Alaric and I just say, "When you're in this place, be polite to everything. Yes, assume everything can talk. Assume everything has an opinion of you. Be kind and polite and respectful to everything you see. And eat nothing." And the steel can kill you easily. It's the illumination. Yeah, you uh, how bright is it? There's it's, a. It's not daylight, but it, we can still see pretty far. 
Yeah, uh, <clears throat> that is something that's very strange. There's no source of light, but light is pervasive. Uh, almost like um, a a sickly yellow light bulb in a room that uh, that covers a small room. Uh, rather than being bright or casting shadows, it just sort of, you know, or maybe even almost like how, uh, if you're in a hospital, how the phosphorescent light is just everywhere when you're in a room. Mm -hmm. And it just gets everywhere, uh, but it's a sickly yellow instead of a bright bleach. Well, there we if we're go going to him. do this, let's get after it. Yes. Yep. Lead the way. I, I, I'm going to follow behind. Um, I'm on my horse, and I'm just like carefully following the tracks, like as if we following yeah. all the rest. Of you, as if I go off of it, maybe I'm going to fall into some other world or something. That's a sensible precaution. It is. Very, well, it's very, better to do it than to live in the fear of it. Let's go. Yeah. Onward. We're gonna find this find this guy, turn around and walk away as quickly as we can. You uh you you travel on horseback into the hedge, uh, a path that sort of winds back and forth in ninety degree angles for a little ways and then opens up into a familiar scene. Uh, what? It, nothing here is familiar. <laughs> Well, it's, it's, oh, it's not, not familiar. It's only familiar to, um, in this case, also not Dalton. However, I, I will point out, because I think it would be obvious to your characters, that Dalton is suddenly very opinionated. Uh, but um, but this is familiar to um, Caden and Father Bloombad. Um, oh, crap. You see a, well, you don't see these things. Let me get rid of them. Let's look, let's look. There we go. You, you see, see we might our friends again. Uh, and then there's a rising terrain. This is pretty accurate. Uh, and then there's an amphitheater of old crumbling stone. Um, and you see um, uh, a in the center stage a rusted, rotted, crumbling apparatus. It's a it's a, a stage prop. It's uh -oh. meant to to hold something. Um, it's clearly meant for shadow puppets. To cast shadows back onto a uh, uh, onto a um, like a large curtain. Um, as you enter, uh, you feel slightly disoriented from your horse as as the as your own shadow kind of flickers. It's almost like it doesn't doesn't you know shadows should sort of like angle all at once, but you realize your shadows are not angling all at once, but moving at different rates and in different directions. Um, what about what about Caden and Father Bluebed? You all do not have shadows. Yeah. Um, you see uh, a man standing by his horse. There is a uh, Garbin here, and he's looking at the the shadow puppet apparatus, and it looks as if he is about to manipulate it, touch it, and investigate it. Good sir. Uh, Don't Garbin, do that. I advise against that, sir. He he turns around. He says. Oh, uh, hello. Um, uh, this is a fascinating place. Did you know that this place was here in the fields outside of Zelkor's? Yes, it stole well, my shadow. St to stole your Bruce shadow? Just... Yes, we have lost our shadows in the past year. This is absurd and strange. I don't know what you mean. You damn fool! Get back here with us. You're you're gonna you're gonna lose your your body or your mind or something here. Did you eat anything? Suddenly, um, a uh, you see something towering on the sheet above him, and there are three shadows on the sheet, and uh, they start to just. They move. You just see. You can see the sheet on the sh on the shadow puppet. The thing holding it up, and this thing just like moves across it. Let's see if he survives. He does. Um, it attacked him. It attacks him, and I'm gonna see if it does something else instead. It was actually a shadow or him. It seems to try to attack him, but it instead slashes his horse, which. Uh, yells and then falls to its side and then he screams and starts running towards you in, in terror. Uh, by the way, in a pile here, he has gathered things he has found. Uh, too much for him to, um, to carry. There are piles of silver here and um, scrolls. 
and containers of fluids. But and he's dropped them or he's he's gathered them. He's like been he's been around here he's looking them, for but things. He hasn't had them in his hands. Now that hardly makes any sense because this has only been moments. Right. To us. The time goes differently here. Irritatingly so. But whatever attack the was is it, it still coming? If the thing is chasing him, I charge forward past him as he's running toward us. Okay. You, uh, yeah, you, the thing is chasing him. It is chasing is him. It? Um, there are uh, shadows moving across the ground. Um, you can't see what's going on in the air, but uh, uh, Alaric, you have seen this before. I have? Yeah. Shadow. Oh, yeah, shadows. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. Yes. All right. Guys, out get out. We can't harm him. We can't harm him. Get this guy out of here. Get out of here. Yeah. Oh, well, we can't, but it'll be difficult. Yeah, well, I'm just... His horse is falling. Yeah. He can yeah. bribe mine. Is the, the plan to flee? I think so. Yeah, well, yes, Unless please. we have... Does anyone have any... Is there any reason we shouldn't? Are you going to leave the pile of silver? Uh, the pile sure, of silver okay, coins? Scrolls and potions? It would be nice to take it, but... Yeah. Is it yeah, even possible? We Wouldn't we have to run back right into the maw of these we have to fight. To We'd have to fight the shadows. And like I said, I could hold them off, but I'd be trying to run as soon as you guys make it out. Because... You, you would You would need at least a round. And uh, at least two people would have to carry this stuff out of here. Okay, well, okay, let's okay, let's talk about this. How many shadows are there? <laughs> Three. Three? Hmm. Uh, it's two magic missiles, too. Magic too you have yeah. a magic dagger? Oh, okay, I thought I was the only one with the... Besides Caden, I thought I was the only one yeah, with the magic dagger. I, I, I have a magic spork. Oh, come Wait. on, then. What do we... Let's destroy evil. Are, wait, do you really have a magical spork? Yes. I'm yes. impressed. Yeah. Let's destroy evil. Spork plus one. Are we... You must have not been here for that. Nope. I'm unfortunately unable to assist in these matters. So, My... John, are you... Are you, are you fleeing... Fighting long enough to get the stuff and fleeing, or fighting? I think fighting long enough to get the stuff. Very well. Um, I'm in to that. What do you, Dan? I hate leaving <laughs> undead things around. They're yeah, not undead. Don't That's worry, just me man. personally. I'm not pushing anybody. Are, wait, are they it. undead? Oh, you want to fight them to the death? Can we just do a rat? Well, let's gather the stuff and see where we are after we've gathered the stuff. Well, he already yeah. said he was going to run as soon as we ran. So. Okay, good. So they are undead, but I can maybe turn them. Worth a shot. I'm a level yes, five yeah. player. Too. Okay, who we has a magical to... weapon? Couldn't we couldn't know they're do... turnable if it's the things we recognized? We yeah, know it's uh, turnable. John, you only have, have a few turnable. moments to decide before it's able yep. to strike this person again. Well, either case, oh, yeah, I did decide. It. This I decided okay. no matter what. If it's if it's attacking him, I'm charging forward to get in between him and and that, just for the sake of and if I get you know just so I can uh, protect okay. him. Are the clerics going to? Your spork. And I'm are, on foot, by the way, because I wasn't riding my horse. I was are the are the eating. clerics going to attempt to um, to turn them? I. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I will. Yeah. And then I thought I was the only one. Who do, do you want uh, Garbon to use his magic missile? Yes, he's got Very well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's I'm not the decider, but um, he will. He'll he'll definitely he'll listen to you if you tell him to do it. Uh, I have to actually yeah, Garvin, make sure I don't Garvin, get it wrong because I thing. I think that there's actually some interesting things about magic missile in this. I hate to waste time, but I want to make sure I get it right. Okay. Uh, I get a choice, so you either have to roll to hit, or you get an automatic damage. And um, I'm going to say he's going to try to roll to hit because he you need the damage. So if, if it's worth it at all, okay. So um, and then lastly, uh, 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 Caden, roll a d6 for initiative. See who can oh, act bro. first. The magic user is up front in the order of march. You all are able to act first. If anybody is moving or firing a missile, you can do that now. Nobody? Yeah. This uh, is theater well, of the mind, of course. Uh, um, yeah, Menachem's going to try to shoot. Okay. Let's decide who's going for the, who's gathering the treasure and who's attacking. I'm going for the treasure. I don't have yeah, a magical also... weapon, so it might as well be me. And I, I would take the spork from Magnus, but I don't know it exists yet. I, I will, I will, I will toss. Well, if anyone says I, whatever, it, it, is that possible? 
Someone has to gather the treasure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This won't, or this won't work at all. So it might what? as well be me. Uh, okay. Is the treasure like near? Uh, where is the treasure in relation to these things? Uh, uh, I mean, you have to, uh, you have to stay in the round to get the treasure, basically. So. Understood. But what I mean is, are you, are we, are, like, to go and get it? Are you putting yourself near? You're getting Alaric? closer to the shadows and and in within combat range of them. Yes. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, I'm confident I can survive the shadows for at least one round. If you're firing a missile, do so now. Uh, if anybody has moved up within melee to attack, roll to attack and hit and damage. Okay, I guess that's what I'm doing. So I'm using a plus one dagger. They stay where they are, um, uh, which is to fight Alaric and whoever moves up. Okay. Uh, I don't know what armor class I hit. Yeah, yeah, so. I just look, I rolled a six. Single target, there you go, every time. Menachem fires arrows, and they just seem to fly through the air like there's nothing there to hit, you know. Um, Alaric, you miss, uh, and then... Uh, Sorry, I need a second. I hit armor class uh, 14. Oh, thank you, yes. Uh, it's uh, ar ascending armor class 12 is your target. Okay, hit. Dagger does 1d4, right? Uh, yeah. Plus two. Um, I do four damage to one of them. Four damage, okay. Cut into a shadow for the first time. Um, you hear a, a squealing noise as you strike into it. Actually, it, it uh, sounds like... Um, uh, sounds like Aiden? It sounds like... Where's it? I have thought. Like upside down, Caden. My damage right, like a I screeching noise, and oh, then uh, let's see here. Um, if you let's see, if you're turning the undead, you can do that, and then I'll roll for the missile. See if I can hit. I mean, he it doesn't look like me, does it? Uh, I mean, it's it's a nebulous shadow on the yeah, ground. I, I don't think it's gonna. Um, but. Al you notice Alaric swinging in the air, uh, and, and Flanagan, you try to swing to the ground, but you hit something before you end up hitting the ground, or whatever you mm. try to do, but you notice you're hitting something in the air, but you can't see it. Anyways, he, you a hear... is a turn. For, for these things? Yeah. Okay. I need a seven for a shadow. All right. Uh, I rolled 2d6, not 2d10. My apologies. Yeah, 2d10 2D is, is if it if it works. Yeah, and then 2d6 is the number that you get of it. Uh, so, yeah, so so I think that works for you all both, right? So an interesting... This is what happens. Uh, first of all, he casts Magic Missile, and you see this shadow dissipate. It just disappears. And then you all raise your holy symbols up, and you... you um, uh, you, you banish them, and uh, you see them flee across the ground. Um, and then... Uh, actually, let me roll to see what happens here. And the Fa Medusa comes. <laughs> yeah, the Medusa that we're, we're oh, ignoring. Don't say that. Father Bloombad. <laughs> uh, Father Bloombad, uh, you have a shadow. Oh, nice. What do you mean you have a shadow? Well, that, previously yeah, wasn't the case. It was a shadow. One of them was actually dissipated, and he got it back. No. The other two are still wandering around out there. Wait, let them come back. <laughs> Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> uh, you can chase your shadow if you'd like. It's you, not that you, useful. You notice uh, that all of you feel different, and you're acting different. Your companions are acting different. All of you currently have lost two charisma points. Ah, uh, bastards. Even, all even of us? me? Everybody has lost two charisma points. Uh, oh, and, you, really and you and you notice Garbin is uh, is just looks kind of soulless and uh, emotionless. Uh, last time after I lost my shadow, I kept it. Okay, let's get out of here as fast as possible. Uh, and I'm I'm gonna see you got some stuff here. Um. um And you have, let's see, one, two, three, four, uh, three, two, three. 
you you see a uh, a strange liquid in this uh, in in this vial. The other vials uh, they don't look uh, they look like just water. Um, and then um, there are scrolls, but they're they you can tell they're blank except for one of them. And then uh, there are piles of silver here. There's um, Yeah, six hundred silver pieces here. So you Did all. Did Charisma lost permanent? We'll see. We shall see. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, let's get the stuff and get out of here. Even this yeah. stuff looks like water. I mean, yeah, let's go. For all, all we know, this is liquid that's come from our own bodies or something like that. Indeed, uh, we might need this back. You can see indications. Uh, and I, I hear that you're leaving, and so you, you can, but I want to, Dalton, something yep. else that you see, uh, you see indications of other tracks and litter and signs of passage, some of them continuing on in different directions. There are um, passageways beyond hedges nearby, uh, to the left and to the right. We should split up and check them out. What? <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, you're funny. You're funny. <laughs> so you all le you all go back the way you came. Yes, please. Yes. The, the cat yes. uh, is bored oh, and God. licking its paw as you come back through, and it's like, oh, I'm glad you found him, and then goes back to licking its paw. Thank you, sir. And what's uh, your name, sir? It's ma'am. Oh, what's your name, ma'am? <laughs> Forgive I, me. It's a uh, um. What what is it? Uh, Lucinda. No, what's her name? Hold on just a second. Let me put this back up, and then I'll tell you. Um, let me let me let me look it up because I can't. Oh, Vivian, Vivian. That's what it was. Oh, Vivian. Well, perhaps yeah. if we come back, we uh, just everything you would like as a as a gift if we return here. If you value your lives, you won't return here. And. Fair enough. I don't think there's any gifts that you could give me, but that's very kind of you. Well, thank you for allowing us passage. Thank you. She ignores you and keeps licking her paw. All right. Yeah, so we, you we, we, another choices. you go through the hedge uh, out and uh, and and suddenly you see um, summer brush of the summer brush of Albion. It's weeds and and vines around you. Um, you see a familiar sky, and uh, after you pass through, you look back and see only just shrubs uh, leading seemingly nowhere. And meanwhile, uh, Garbin is like, that was fascinating. What? Uh, I didn't know these th these places were out here. Well, the sun looked different in the sky? Like, uh, does it look like a... Uh, we're not oh, I forgot. Yeah, that's right. I forgot to do that. Thank you for reminding me. Uh -oh. Mm -hmm. oh, because time passes differently? Yeah. Let me yeah, see. It here. Does. We could have been gone five years. Um it is dark outside. We should camp, because we're not gonna find those people now. I mean days yeah. could have gone by. They're probably all dead. They're probably we all stolen. No horse for our friend. The ones who were the ones who went through that passageway are certainly all into trouble. We're not retrieving them. Well, at time. Yeah. Time, yes. Perhaps we should we'll get be back able to, to We should continue on our quest, right? No, right. no. Well, by foot. Because we, he doesn't have a horse anymore. We're already we, halfway there though. I mean we're it would take us the same amount of time to get Back you're you're only team. about four miles away uh, from Zelda. Yeah, we might as well continue. You're, uh, Unless we're to lose on the five miles. Let's just, just make camp. Back. Yeah, you I know what? Yeah. I think now, we should yeah. go back and leave this guy there and go back, come back without him. This is exactly what. This is exactly the kind of thing that I I don't want to be a part of. Look, I, I look at him and I say, you know, we told we said we we protect you, but there's a you got your side of the of the bargain here too, which is to stay by our side. You lost your damn horse, and you lost your right to come with us, as far as I'm concerned. Well, that you was not the original bargain, and I'll I, I I think the jagged blade would be, happily have my services, and I want to note that I saved your lives. He did he did destroy the shadow. 
I'd like to meet those 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 fellows. I'd like to see you and see if you're here in two weeks. Then we can talk. Very well. Well, uh, what's the what's the wait wait? Are you, are, I think I think the shadow realm is is making us very irritable here. It uh, is. I think it's very clear that you, sir, are not too bright going off on your own. But unbelievable. Understandable. Unbelievable. Understandable. Understandable why you would be so tempted. It's part of who you are. I get that. I understand that and accept that. But going forward, ask for us to go with you if we're going to do anything that's dangerous, because that's what the only way we can protect you is if we're with you when I you go. I don't believe he did this on purpose. He was well, taken against you, his will. If you're, you're all yes. too polite, damn it, you're all too damn polite. But, 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 I agree with my companions that you, if you find yourself stranded by yourself, please wait until we find you and don't wander off because while it's true you saved our lives it's also true we could have all confronted those things together and uh, come out much the better for it how, how long, long were did you he wait yeah how long were you in there before we showed up uh, well a long time what did you expect me to do i didn't know what to do i uh, I, I was trying to to gather useful time. thing it must have been I had I had eaten several meals. I'd slept. Uh, it must have been several days. Oh wow! Days. Oh, well, it's I'm much, it's, there. Much, it's much more different. understandable. If that's now it's different. different. Yes. yes. One so of the traits of, of the other land is that its relationship to time is bullshit. And <laughs> <laughs> we I mean, right. the moment we lost track of you, we immediately joined you, and we were. Uh, with you in the other land within from our perspective perhaps half an hour the We're other the land <laughs> do you speak of the legends of the of the other world the 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 place the the, the dead fairies go that's preposterous well I... shit look me in the eye you all are like very I rude i would like to go home now <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 this is well, not. I'm making this. Up. You were there. You you saw what I, happened. Well, Come you know, on, man. I, I shall join the ball. jagged blade, and I will tell okay, you that my this. My charisma <laughs> dropped. That's why I was trying to be somewhat rude, hold but on, I still on. had a high charisma. I still have a 13 charisma with all that noise. This town will okay. know of what this group is like unless I I no, tell you no. I will make a deal. We oh, no. let's return home, <laughs> or or. Uh, you can give me that scroll. That would be a fair deal. I'll, I'll take the scroll. What, what is the scroll? Ghoul says, string this man up. I can't believe you have the patience for this <laughs> Hey, fellow. hey, hey, hey! Just give I'm gonna go gather firewood. Wait, wait. What's going on? Okay. Are, are we camping? <laughs> no, let's yeah, we're camping no matter what. Yeah, let's go wait, if we give him the scroll, we'll be able to recover the scroll because we have a tracker, and he'll be dead we'll get it off his body. Let's, uh, let's, if you want to travel back on your own, is that what you're saying? You want to travel back on your own? Absolutely on, not. Provide. That's absurd. Yes. We'll okay. Camp. And I will, I will take poor Garbin aside and talk to him alone for a while and remind him about Zuvnu and all of the wonderful things. It's been a tense situation. Right. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Everybody's setting up camp except Magnus and and this guy uh, Garbin, and Garbin yeah. just like pours his feelings out to you, Magnus. He's like, "It's just not fair. I I was gone for days, and I I saved everyone's life, and I did very well. And it doesn't feel good at all." And, it, and he's just, just just like, you know, I mean, he's not wrong, but also, come on, man. He's, he's an old. I mean, he's he's a goofy old. He's a, you know, I'll I'll. I'll, well, I'll I, I don't I'll, want to. I like him. Right? I mean, I have. I I'm think probably... we should give him a half share. Uh, well, no, no. Uh, hold up, hold up. <laughs> hold up. Let's slow down. He, he was willing Crazy to work. Dog. He was willing to work for the privilege of talking to Zuvu. Right. So let's let's leave it at that. But yeah. but okay. uh, but I but I, I do want to just mollify him and and yeah. pour out pour out respect as from one, and 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 sh assure him that that I am am the, uh, the I recognize his value and. Uh, and, and but just please it and but admonish him gently do even if it's uncomfortable uh do your best to stay close by next time should you wander into the other world without us you, you play I, oh go ahead because i myself have found my have found myself in such a situation and uh while i didn't have to wait as long as you i uh 
Anyway, yes, all of us here, most of us here have experienced this. You, you placate him uh, as far as like, he's, he's willing to just go back uh, and then he wants to have some weeks with Zuvnu, which he's willing to be supervised under. Uh, but then he also, um, he says that he wants one of the two items because he feels it is fair. So either the potion or the scroll. Do we know what they are yet? No. Mm. Can Magnus identify them? I, not immediately. Oh, okay. I, can, I, 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 would, I would hold my hand up for the scroll, and, uh, uh, but, uh, yeah. but I'm not going to. I gonna think we should give him the potion then. What are we all doing? What, what are you talking about? We're over the, the trolls. What, what do you better than we're making a deal? There's there's seven of us out here. Some damn old man comes out and runs around, and we had to follow him out and save his save his damn life. And now we're giving him our stuff. We well, found all the stuff. We never would have found it if he hadn't gathered we it. Gathered it all, so it's all stuff. I, I, I'm yeah, he has uh, very hard stuff. Nice. It's all his, really, honestly, except for the fact we rescued him, so we deserve some of it. But, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, no, I think he, he, it's his items. All right. So you all, entire saw, situation is so shit. far outside of our usual problems that it's, it's frankly yeah. difficult yeah. for us to apply our usual approaches to these. The, the scroll would have more value, I think, if it's something that Magnus can learn. You, 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 uh, you set up camp, um, you set up your watches. Um, who is on last watch? I don't remember where our normal order is. I'm either uh, on first or last. You can just pick, you know, I'll like... I'll and, pick Flanagan's last. Okay, Flanagan. Okay. That's fine. All right, so Flanagan, you're on last watch for the night. Roll it. Right, so I'm on first watch because I'm on one yeah, of the two ends. Yeah. Everyone has their charisma yeah. back. Um, this is when oh, we have it back. Oh, thank God. And you can roll a d6, yeah. Uh, what did you get here? Let's see, a three. Okay, let me see. Oh, well, dear. Because that's when he would, he's used to drying off. On the last year, in the yes, morning. Thank God, I had five stamina, I oh. five charisma. Well, I'm just glad because it's really hard to role play just mildly charismatic instead of extremely charismatic. I, you know, I had trouble with it. <laughs> it's true. Flanagan may apologize, but I kind of doubt it to this guy. <laughs> Flanagan, uh, as the temperature drops on uh, before sunrise, uh, you can well uh, before not before sunrise. I'm getting my times mixed up. Uh, before sunrise, you see off in the distance. Uh, in fact, uh, let's see. Three it's, riders were approaching. It is um, this way, like toward the, this open area up here. Mm -hmm. 150 yards off in the distance, there's a group of things uh, chittering in the bushes. Uh, you've heard these things before. They're the little lizard dogmen. You, you, you could you recognize oh. their voices, and there's a bunch of them. I'll wake everybody up right away. Pop, 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 and like this what, what? Right there. And I'll um I'll kick um the old man. Oh. Trying to make use of oh. the old man. Kick him too hard. Just kick. like you're you're sleeping. I, I kick him and I say, um trying to make use of yourself, old man. Some of those serpent kids are out there. Get up. Serpent kid oh, one of the oh, and amazing, yes. Uh, should I go talk to them? Yeah. No. No, not a oh. your life. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, what what do we do? Put some wood, damn wood on the fire, and we'll keep it light lit in here first and see what happens. Yeah. I'm just sort of waiting for everybody to wake up a little bit. How many okay. is, is a bunch? You're not sure, like, the exact numbers, and it's still kind of dark outside, um, but you can hear a Does bunch of, like, a whole bunch, more than a dozen, or... Now that I'm, now that I'm awake... Have a light spell? Well, now that I'm awake, can I hear what they're saying? Um... Let's see. They're a ways off. I think that make a a, a check for that, and just use a d6 like a listen at door check. It's it's because they're so far. Oh, okay, you got it. Um, maybe it's a combination of things where you're able to have everyone be quiet. Maybe you're even able to to sneak up uh, to the near side of this old road here, right? And you have kind of like a death laid on this side of it. And so you're able to go up there with Alaric and Flanagan and Caden and stuff, and, and you listen, and um, you can hear them saying, uh, they're saying they're hungry, uh, they haven't eaten in a long time, these, these scouting missions are miserable, 
they can't wait until they get to eat the humans uh, because okay. the, because the scouting missions are, are awful and they can't wait to go back uh, and find something yummy to somewhere else. It's like being mad at feral children. I can't. I, I just can't hold it against yes. them. Oh come on! Evil. I can I can hold them against them and against oh their throats and everything. All right. Can we? Is there uh, is it possible, Caden, that we could like surprise them? Uh, that would be nice. I would like to eliminate them. I would too. That's why I was asking. Does anybody do? Do any of you guys uh, have a light spell or anything that we can maybe I do. get toss on an arrowhead and and shoot into their midst and? Oh, can boom. we do that? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, so um, I'll say that you can do that. Uh, in order to get the surprise, uh, you just wouldn't be able to be on horseback because that would be getting your, mm -hmm. you know, and I think that's pretty generous because presumably you shouldn't even have your equipment on you. Um, but yeah, you're able to just get your equipment, get it well, together quickly, get up to this def, like the, this defilade where the, the train ri uh, is a, uh, a depression before the, the the road where the road's up above you and you kind of get up there quickly and you you cast the light on the arrow and toss it like a like a flare um and you charge on these little people uh and you get a surprise round and um everybody can do any type of attack you're doing that's monaka can do uh ranged attacks melee attacks spells everything you're you're gonna do uh, old person Kill one, one, kill two. So as your whole person? Yeah. Armor absolutely. class 11 is the worst armor... Oh, Three. 9, I'm sure I missed. 11. I hit armor class 11 was the best Four. I got. Um, and then 5, actually, because you got hold person. One's wounded. Okay. How many, so, how many are there? Uh, you, there's about a dozen. And, like... You, you just charge up on them, these... I mean, you're giants to these things anyways, and um, they're horrified. You slay five of them right off the bat. You wound one of them. One of them is magically held and is horrified. Uh, the rest uh, try to flee. Um, you could try to just shoot them down and kill them if you wanted to. They're pretty I'll much helpless four. against you. I can Yeah. The, you, 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 I rolled a four. All right, yeah, you do that. You've got four that are in, you know, held right now. A bunch are dead. You kill the rest as they flee. They just don't stand a chance. They have saving throws, though. Nah, they're held. What about the held one? Are we she, keeping it? Okay, they're, they're, kill it he, he held kill four. It, kill, it, kill it, kill it. Kill them yeah, all immediately. Kill yeah. Oh, fine. That's, not, that's my vote. I'm, no, yeah, I'm let's not, not drive not. them ahead to be attacked constantly and terrorized. Let's just kill them. All right. And be so done. now you. We might keep one. Uh, no, it, no, no. Enough. These things. <laughs> As this happens, you have. Um, uh, so you kill all these things. Uh, let's see. 12, uh, there are 12 of them. They're not going to be eating any villages of ours, these guys. I am pretty nope. sure that they're not going to have anything useful on them. I'll check later. I'm pretty sure they That's don't have fine. anything. Um, they have they have the hit points they didn't take away from our villagers. That's what they got. Yeah. Um, so the sun rises. You all did not get a full night's rest. Uh, so um, you, you, you'd be operating at a minus one to any attack or attribute check today. Well, we can return to town, spend the night there, and then head back out. Yeah, let's do that. With uh, uh, are we taking Galber with Galber with the? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I thought not, so. And, and then Magnus is gonna, you know, he go over course, and so. take a. I'm going to just take a moment with uh, with Flanagan and just say, listen, uh, no offense meant, but uh, every bit of magical knowledge we can acquire here is deeply valuable. I understand the frustration, but uh, please don't be too harsh on the old fool. Uh, if he's gonna, if we're risking our lives for him, it's a, it's a problem. I mean, knowledge is one thing, but it, but coming back dead is another. I, I agree. Don't, I agree. I don't want to have any responsibility. I don't want to be chasing after this old man. Well, he, I think if we're dead, we're not coming back. Well, he's <laughs> dead. I, I don't want to be. Shouldn't be a, at at more risk to our lives to bring this man around. Magnus, uh, rein him in somehow and let him just let him know. Just. 
he's got to he's got to follow our orders and and stay within the ranks if you know yes, what I, I, mean. I do think his story about being there for days does somewhat argue in his favor completely argues in his favor the last time the last time we were there, two of our people disappeared before we found them. They they were missing for quite some time. Yeah. It's not and, I, and I myself was snatched up uh, without knowing what was going on, and I could well have been gone for days, although I wasn't in that case. So I we, yeah, we did the admonish Magnus for that. Well, again, he seems kind of flustered, um, and he's like, I, I don't understand what that place was or or anything like that. I uh, I live in this world, and I understand this world, and. I mean, if that's what you all say, that's fine. I, I trust you all, but I don't. I don't want to be. Uh, I don't. I just don't want us all to be coming back. I don't want more risk to people's lives. That's all I'm saying. That's fair. Are, fine, it's bring a, him out there then. But we will assure his survival. Hey, Flanagan nods. All right, I gotta nip off for a second to go to the restroom. I'll be yeah. right back. And if it comes to it, Caden will offer his life to allow the rest of you to escape. We know hey, you that was my man. job just a second ago. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you're all... I'd be a martyr myself. I'm not you're, you're, all, you're all very valuable companions. I'm trying to take my martyrdom from me. I'm not trying to take a martyrdom. I'm trying to be the guy who holds him off, then runs. That was in character. <laughs> I'm um, glad to get it on the way back. He goes over to... While we're waiting for everybody, he goes over back over to Gel... What's his name? Uh, Garvin. 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 And, and he says... Uh, Listen, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't understand. I'm, I'm just getting into my head all this time stuff that you were there for longer and none of this makes too much sense to me. So I'm sorry I might have mistreated you, but um, really what it comes down to is I'm just, I just, I don't want to see you die. I don't want to see you die. And that's all it is. Well, listen, young man, I, um, I have had a lot of years behind me and I have come to this point to risk everything. So I think it's some to some degree, you have to be willing if we're going to work together and come to an agreement that you have to be willing to take that risk and let me make those choices for myself. Mm. Deep uh, well, the, uh, the problem is where we're all, you're taking those risks and we all got to follow with you. And what we do is we make those decisions together. You can't be running off by yourself. And we're I all, didn't run change. off. He gets mad. Yeah, he <laughs> doing it again. You're doing well, it again. Taken. I don't understand this stuff. This time stuff. It's taken. <laughs> it's very strange. But... Everyone of y'all are talking about, about this consent. and yelling at each other in the in, in the lounge lodge and everybody, the mercenaries are just like, what? Yeah. <laughs> well, again, it's about consent. Uh, he didn't give consent. It's a family <laughs> argument. <laughs> yeah. Um, charisma is still low. It's still just coming back, it seems. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, where to begin? We need a horse for Garber. So, first yep. of all, the expenses. Lark, one of his. <laughs> <laughs> right, Lark? You got a horse, right? I've got two extras. Uh, uh, um, yeah, you got two extras. Yeah. Okay, right. then, then you can use my horse. You lend him your horse. I forgot about the mercenaries, but thank God that would have oh, been I, even more I can complicated. Use your horse? You can use my horse. You lend them your horse. My war horse? I don't like the way. Oh, okay, then somebody else lends them the horse. They can use my. I don't like the way he treats his horse. Y'all are going to hate me, but I'm going to do a morale check for these uh, mercenaries. Oh. There's two of them. Why? I mean. Oh, the two that were with us. They. Why? So it's it's worth yeah, noting that never mind, never mind. Pe pe I get it. yeah people in Albion have heard of the other world like uh, it's basically like an old I'm you know ancient myth of their people um, I thought you meant the ones in the tavern uh, no 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 uh, yeah okay. I, I get what you mean now uh, it's just uh it's gonna be low uh, but all right they just pass. Uh, but they're Ooh. they're harrowed uh, by the experience, um, and uh, and they're probably sitting with you. You know that this has changed them. Uh, they're We're like stick to the road that that. And, and in fact, they even ask you, Caden. They're you know, or well, Bloombad. They ask Bloombad like, "What does this mean? How is it possible for a place to exist like that? All, all the ancient." stories of the people before the light came to this place the that's true is that where we go when we die no go into no. the light when we die that place is something else the light guided us out of there twice three times now 
needn't worry as long as you stay with us. Oh. One day we may even bring the light to them. I see. Oh, we did bring some light. Oh no, that was the cobalt. I hope that we. Uh, I hope we never see anything like that again. They're shaking. Oh, I'll I'll say if prayers over them and yeah, you know, anoint yeah. Their, their heads with oil and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. I got to track my arrows again. I spent some arrows. Yeah, on speaking of that, I was also going to say, uh, so I posted and roleplayed the expense thing. So just please do that on your own uh, each week, mm -hmm. however it works for you all. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you don't have to buy extra because you came back to uh, to the Hound's Lodge or the Inn or wherever you stay. So that's part of your regular calculation. You don't have to remove a ration, right? Because you were gone a day and then... By, from your body's biological clock, you were you came back a day later, right? But anyways, yeah. Um, okay, so you rest for the night, and uh, it takes two days to get a hit point back. In case anybody's lost hit points, I don't think anybody did. Anyone move? Nah. Just the horse. Unscathed. The horse got a lot of hit points taken off. So if we have a difference of opinion in the future, we should go off from the hired men and discuss it calmly. Yes. That's a good uh, good so advice I there. I think it was the experience, not our difference of opinion, though. All right. So you, it's still good advice. You, you yes, wake yes. up the next day um, determined, uh, if a bit exhausted, since you only have about 45 minutes IRL to, uh, to make it to the dungeon. Um, and you're ready to depart again. Uh, did I hear correctly that you're loaning Garbin a horse and you're taking him with you? Two magic missiles? Yeah. Okay. Very uh, well. Somebody else's horse is getting loaned to him. I'm loaning my horse to that somebody. Gotcha. I'm not giving him my horse. Gotcha. All right. Um, yeah, you you wake up the next day and... Well, the one of mercenaries is going to take a horse. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mercenaries show more sense. Something They're else scared. happens. Uh Oh, no. Let's see. <laughs> um, the uh, the storms roll in. This kind of gives you a sense uh, that along with talking, you probably don't want to. I, I mean, I don't know, but you probably don't want to come back in town and ask what day it is. Uh, yeah, right. That's probably not a good idea. But well, there's probably a way to tell because I mean, people get paid, right? Like the mercenaries get paid, mm -hmm. so we could probably yeah. squawk up to one and be like, right. you know. Uh, do you get paid? You know, I mean, something like, you know, get in the conversation. There's one guy who I can straight up ask, which is... Yeah, Omen. Uh, Omen, yeah. I can yeah. just ask him. We're going to ask you, Steve. I won't be the weirdest... <laughs> that will not be the weirdest conversation yeah. any of us have had with him. How many days and How many days since you ate, Zoomin? <laughs> <laughs> That's awful, but it's true. Um, hey, he's... He's, able, but he, he's actually perfectly happy, in fact, uh, because he ate like a day and a half ago, which was like better than usual for him, in fact. So uh, he's like, this is awesome. I rule over my subjects. You all are pathetic and you serve me and it's great. Um, mm -hmm. So anyways, it is pouring rain today and visibility has dropped. Um, Caden, where do you go? I think we're going to take the road. Very well. Sounds good to me. Take the road. Do it. Jack, don't you come back? Let's just... Sorry, this free association thing in my head is constant. I sometimes say it out loud. Oh, I can tell. Uh, it's slower it's going. Uh, even via road, uh, you make it to about right here. You can see the old abandoned cottage off in the distance off the road and the tree line you also see the tree line leading up into the mountain but it's obscured with mist and uh and rain and uh and then you see uh well actually caden roll a d6 uh six what would you get a two okay uh, in you see hulking figures uh, off in these fields this way to the east. Um, Harry, man. Approaching you. Can you ride them? Oh, yeah, yeah I mean, you have you horses. Like we reach the dungeon? Yeah, you can do that if you want to. Is that what you want to yeah. do? Okay. Yeah. Would you tell Very me? Well? Harry, man, running around. All right. Now, uh, it 
when you get to about right here, it and that with the weather and everything, it is now quite dark. Um, night falls early. Uh, so, uh, you can ride on in the darkness uh, and try to make it through the woods and into the dungeon on the same day. Um, or you can try to make camp in the rain. Um, We're near the burnt area, right? Uh, yeah. I think we should go rent the dungeon. Push through in the night? Yeah. Cast light on a staff or something and keep going through? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, you're, uh, that is a problem, oh, so... Oh, oh go ahead. Well, we have torches and lanterns. We, we have, have torches lanterns. and we have lanterns. That's true. You lanterns do have lanterns, back. yeah. But travel slow. Yeah. So it yeah, takes some time. Personal. So actually, I'm going to do a couple checks here. Yeah. We're getting to that dungeon. Okay. Right? <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, the checks go well for you, and you're able to move slowly through the dark forest, looking up in the water-laden heavy bows and leaves, hoping that the things that you've seen moving uh, are just the movement of wind and uh, fat drops of water and rain. Uh, and it seems to be that that's the case, thankfully. You make it to the barren mountainside and switch back your way through the mud. The mud goes all the way up thickly into your, uh, into your um, clay mud, all the way up to your ankles. It makes all of this very slow going and uh, you make it into the dungeon almost into the middle of the night, into its darkness. Um, okay. In fact, there's a new problem here that if you stay in here for several hours, you'll get a penalty because you'll have stayed in the dungeon through the night. Um, now, uh, it'll take quite a few hours. You'd have to cover a lot of ground to get to that point, but that's something. Or you could get trapped here, and that you know, like when you guys slid down the thing. But yeah, that's I'm sure that won't happen. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. If you tell me how to get to uh, the rooms in the first level, there's two, right? You have the the room that you wanted to check with the chests, and then you have the room with the statues. Right. So, what do you think, Caden? Which one first? Um, the statues. Do we want to do that at all? We've only glimpsed that room. Yeah. It seems a shame to only glimpse it. Right. Yeah. And the the treasure. My vote. Them. My vote is for treasure first. Me yeah. Too. Yeah. Same here. Well, you know, there's something there. Yeah. So, might as well do the thing we know. So who knows the way? Sure. I'll just I'll just say it. Um, so we go from the. One second. Uh, from the entrance room, we head to the south. Um, yeah, this is kind of a wild, where do we go here? We head to the south, and then we go east, and it's the last door on our right, last door on the south before we get to the intersection with the pit trap. And, and we go through that door, and there is a secret door in the wall. We go down a corridor there, and then uh, there's a door at the end of that hallway, and I can't remember, there was some pools of, on the ground or something. And then... Yeah, it's was it slime? And then we go over that carefully. There's a secret door to the north there with this room with three chests in it. You are, like, yeah, yeah, you're you're outside of this room currently, and um, let me find it here. You can you can hear fat gelatinous things still plopping from the ceiling into pools on the floor below you look up uh, inside you can see let me see if I can move a uh, person with the torch up so you can see here uh, you can see the stone ceiling actually bowed and uh, and pools hanging and then things dropping down and plopping down from the ceiling we were gonna send back in there yeah he goes, I'm not going in there. Are you serious? Yeah. This is no chest, surprise. my friend. Treasure. Well, it's just not always Menachem's job to do it. I'll get the next one. No way. Well, no one else here has your skills. <laughs> I take Menachem aside for a second. And see. This is... 
the main reason we came down here. And you are the man for the job. There's no one else. All I'm saying, boss, is... I don't have the best swords, the best armor. There's no reason that it just needs to be Menachem that goes in the creepy uh, ooze room. It can be me and a couple of people to guard me. Okay, I'll go in with you. sounds reasonable. I'll go in with you. I've, I've, I've got nothing. Um, it, it sounds perfectly fair to me. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to move gonna Magnus just so that you all can see, and just, but that doesn't mean you're in there. And then, and then you said Alaric is going. Is that right? No, no, it didn't say Alaric is going. I was like, Caden. Flanagan said he was going. Flanagan. Flanagan and Father Blumbad said. Oh, Father Blumbad. Okay. No, Blumbad didn't say anything. (laughs) I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Just Flanagan. Dalton is coming. Oh, okay. Okay. I wasn't sure. Yeah. I want to. I want to spike this door open just in case something crazy happens. That's a good idea. All right, you take the time to do that while they move in here. Meanwhile, uh, uh, field over my head. Uh, roll a d100 for Menachem and roll a d100 for Dalton and uh, Flanagan. And I'm going to watch our rear specifically. That's what I'm doing with my arrows. I'm watching the rear. Yep. Thank you. I, I, last time we were here, I was very hesitant about being in a room with anything with slime, which is why I'm not volunteering. I don't like slime. Slime and bugs. No, I will give you more on my list later, but those are two things on my list. All right, you come up to the uh, the, the that hole in the wall, um, and you make your way into it, uh, like that one guy did before. And um, you see in this room three chests. Hey, can you all remind me uh, what did you find that you opened two of the chests, right? What was inside them? One of them had like. Machinery, books and such. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah they had some sort of mechanism containing. Everybody two should be able to see now. Yeah, yeah, that we took back with us, but yeah, yeah I took that back. And the, the third one, I don't remember why we, we ran out of time or didn't trapped. learn any. It was, was it was it was trapped. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I look at this chest with Menachem and say, well, "So what do you figure? I mean, I'm not going to ask. Are you in there with us, Magnus?" No. Uh, no, but I remember which ones were which. Right. Just the top one is the one we haven't touched, right? Is that right? No, I think it's, it's, the, left one. it's the left one. Oh, is it okay? So what do you figure, Menachem? Um, I mean, this is your area. I'm not asking you to take any more risks, but this is your area of expertise. How do we, uh, how do we approach this? There's only one way, and you're right. This is what I do. I'll try to open the chest. It was nice knowing you all. Well, I mean, he's going to try. He's going to. I mean, we tell, we tell him that it's trapped. <laughs> we know it's trapped. He's going to try to disarm the trap. Okay. 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 Uh, hold on. Before that happens, uh, I'm going to stand on the threshold of the room. I'm not going to stand in the room. Actually, I'm going to step just outside of the room with my shield up. Um, I don't want to be in the threshold just in case something comes down. <laughs> Is he you okay you go that? back in the Morale. previous room. You go back in the previous room. The Jello room, yeah. All right. The room. Roll a D one hundred again. Oh, um, all right. He's gonna try. He has to get a. Uh, now I'm gonna give. I'm gonna use my BX rule because, actually, let me give you all some options. Let me frame some options here. Okay. One option is he takes a long time. If he takes a long time, I'll give him both his skill and an attribute save for Dex. Uh, that, I'm going to say, is going to take four rounds because he's going to be in here sweating, slowly working, being really careful. Um, if he doesn't, he has to succeed on delicate tasks and traps under a 35. I mean, four turns, like 40 minutes? Yeah, it's yeah. going to take a long time. Yeah. Uh, that. That seems absolutely worth, worth it. it. I think, I think absolutely that. worth it. Yeah, and prioritize guarding the halls, right? Like, yep. The, I'm, I'm, oh, yeah, I'm watching yeah. the rear. Uh, yeah. Flanagan, are you staying in that room uh, for for forty minutes? Well, if there's nothing, if everything seems okay, like I'm watching the ceiling, and if it doesn't seem to be any danger, I, like Flanagan doesn't know he's making D100 rolls, so if if everything seems fine, I'm gonna just be yeah, ignorant. makes sense. 
Are you okay? So you you pass through this room. It's dark in here, but you hear this stuff slopping from the ceiling. Uh, you I'll back. Lay okay. A little put on the ground. Yeah, yeah. You do that, and then you said you look around to see, like you look on the ceiling and see what. Absolutely watching the ceiling, like I'm okay. watching him. And a, a an big, worried about a, him falling on him, so he's watching. A, a big glob of this stuff just barely misses you, and it splashes against your boot nearby. Um, you can actually see the stone. One of the a stone falls from uh, from the ceiling and into into the pool of slime. Uh, it does not look fine in here. Okay, I'm going to step back into the room with Monaka then. All right. Okay. Uh, Forty minutes pass. I'm going to I'm gonna track this. Um, two, three, and that one. Okay. I gotta make a check. We have light in the hallway here, don't right. we? And. Yes, uh, I mean, okay, I'm, I'm standing around. Um, good. <clears throat> yeah, and. Um, Alright, he has to pass one of these two checks. Alright, so here we go. Uh, the, this is the hard one. Let's see if he passes the skill. He fails miserably. He, he has got to pass a dexterity minutes, save. Minutes. So it's a, a plus one, and he's got a plus two. So it's a plus three. Uh, so that's a minus three is uh, eight. So he's got to roll over an eight on a saving throw. Okay. And he succeeds. Nice. Yay. All right. So he pops open. Now, this is a big chest. Opens this thing. This thing is full of gold um, and yes. um, and jewels. Yeah. Um, there are strange spider-shaped jewels in here. Oh my! Uh, they, goodness. they all have strange shapes to them. Um, you ex you you think hundreds, if not thousands, of gold pieces worth of uh, gold and jewels and gems oh, and wow. silver oh pieces. Uh, there's. Two things that happen. Two drawbacks. Go ahead. Two drawbacks. <laughs> number one. Get the, the moment of bliss. The gold. <laughs> the moment one, of bliss. This is hundreds of pounds of treasure. <laughs> number two, you hear more stones dropping from the ceiling above, and you can actually hear the oh, whole that. ceiling groan. Can we get the whole chest stuff there? We got to get the whole thing out now. Yes. We have strong people. You can prove really quick. Yes, we we have we must attempt it. Yes, all right. Yeah, we must. A strength of fifteen here. I will attempt to carry. I've got fourteen. Magnus has yeah. fourteen as I've well. I've got fourteen as well. Everybody, oh, every, you, you yell to everybody to come in the room and try to get this thing out. No. Then, yeah. I'm not going. I mean, four, four. How many? How many? You said it, we we four, two can't fit abreast through the doorway. So. Nope. Uh, so you need two people and. Yeah, there's already a, three. There's already there's already a couple in there. I mean, right? I, so. I think you can problem solve that and get the get a handle out and then have to multiple people try to. Yeah. It's a like yeah. a gigantic piece of furniture. I mean, you can, you know. Yeah. Well, so okay. I, yeah. you won't have to do any checks. Uh, well, except for some that are about to happen. Uh, yeah. Who is not going? Caden and who else? I am in the back unless they need. Uh, more hands. I'm still guarding the hallway because I don't like the slime. Okay. I have yeah. Zero interest in the time. But I will go in if if they need another person to do it. All right. Everybody going in to start. Um, and uh, Garbon also says I'm not going in. That's absurd. Uh, I wouldn't go in that room. Um, everybody going in can roll a d100. Do we who, need me to go in? Yeah. Who who is nest, who is needed? Yeah. Uh, it. You you can move it, I would say, with five or so people. Uh, but if you have more, you can move it faster. Okay. Well, if that that means I, if you can have more, you know, I e need more, I will go in then. Okay. Yeah. This isn't going, going in. If it, yeah. My strength is eleven. So I'm I'm not... I'm gonna go then then help Manakin. Oh wait! I didn't see. I was standing in this line. Torch. I'm gonna light a torch. Okay. Can't get in the room. Uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, uh, we'll we'll kind of work it out from here because uh, y'all are trying to get this thing out. So, yeah. Uh, if, if I would like to guard that hallway. Okay. 
All right. So um, <clears throat> that's everybody that went in, right? Rolled a D100. All right. Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't roll a D100. Sorry. I didn't yep. know about that. I've been ignoring oh, no. what happened. I tried not to listen when I'm not in a room. Oh, the jail. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. Oh, oh wait. I rolled 100. Sorry, that's not D100. That's good or good or bad. Go. No, no, I didn't roll D100. I rolled 100 is what I typed. Oh, oh. I thought what? it looked weird. <laughs> oh, no. Now I did roll a D100. What is oh. that? Oh, yeah. no, that's two zeros. Oh, my God. Oh, Let me no. just, just check this to make sure I'm right, rolling right. Yeah, I'm rolling right. Oh no! I, yeah, really I typed funny. the 100, then I rolled the 100. Yeah, I rolled the 100, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, rolled the 100 baby. That's not good. It, or no. it's, it's really, really funny, rolled low though. and survived. Let's see if it rolled good or really bad. No, it's really bad. I know that. It's got to be oh, bad because everybody else rolled low. Okay, let's put it this way: everybody's not been killed rolling a 19 yeah. uh, and a 23. So I think I'm about to get something horrible landing on me. Let's find out. Head Ross. All right, you take one point of damage immediately as like the slime just plop, slop, slops exactly onto you. Exactly where you went in the room. You're trying to help pull this thing out. You all are, you know, like trying to maneuver this giant piece of furniture around these pools of, of goop. and um, But you make it out into the hallway, uh, and um, you can tell that the ceiling is under a lot of pressure. Like it was about to, it felt more claustrophobic. You could actually feel the 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 height of the room decreasing um and uh but you make it out into the hallway uh and it's burning the, when this thing slops under your shoulder alaric and gets in and underneath your armor and uh as you get out into the hallway you can't help but scream in pain as this thing continues to um uh just become more and more painful Let's let's get the I mean, get get the yeah. armor off and splash some water on it. Pee on it. Pee on it. Cure light wounds. Is that gonna help? Uh, all right. You it cure light wounds. Did you say? Do you try cure light wounds? Yeah. Yeah. All right. You cast cure light wounds. It doesn't seem to do anything. Um, oh no. And, it's and like a jellyfish. The, so you you take the armor off and you you look and and of course there's yeah. like this like ooze this gelatinous stuff on his shoulder. But what's worse is the flesh itself is pulsing, and some of the veins around it are angry. Some of the veins are black, and some of them are green. And the flesh is turning okay. green. Oh, no. We're going to cut your arm off or something, Malaric. Is it on just his arm, or is it... Burn. It's Burn on, me. It's Burn on me. his shoulder. On it. Okay. Burn me. Well, I'll, I'll, put, I'll uh, hold up a torch. You, you take the torch and you hold it to his shoulder, like that? It actually I, I like something. smokes, like it, this um, smoke just billows out of it, and you can't help but just scream in agony. You take yeah. another, um, you take another uh, two points of damage, uh, and you have this big burn now. Uh, but but uh, but Flanagan burns the slime from eating into your flesh off. It does get rid does of it. Work? Yeah, it, it, and and other than the oh, scorched uh. flesh that you can smell his scorched flesh and hair. And, uh, I'm gonna need healing smoke. later, but let, that, that's better than burns. You can heal. Yeah. yeah, but I can heal. I can heal. I'll heal you when we get back to town. Hey, sir, about that lark? Is it? I mean, is there any more there? And I'm shining the torch maybe a little bit too close to see if there's any more. Yeah, you. you <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> You check. <laughs> you check him. Very out. enthusiastically check. Raise up his armpit and look underneath. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and he's uh, he's okay. It, it didn't seem to get on anybody. You all rolled well. That could have been so much worse. I wish Did I could tell you. Nether regions? I <laughs> wish I could tell you what could have happened, but I won't. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I know. Some some mysteries I'm perfectly fine with not knowing. It seems kind of obvious. Yeah, we may have been able to arrest. I mean, uh, it wasn't obvious. Like oh, okay. Yeah, it's oh, obvious. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, the ceiling was falling in already. All right, uh, how do you get to the next room from here, uh, Flanagan? Uh, uh, should, 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 should we have to worry about the logistics oh. of carrying all the gold back? Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot. You do have, like, hundreds yeah. of pounds yeah. of Let's, treasure. Sh shall we just go back? I mean, I, I, feel like, I feel like we're lucky at this point. Shall we? We've been through a lot. Well, let's go look at the, the statue room. Oh, my God. Yeah, the last thing! What could go wrong? <laughs> you could leave the treasure behind this secret door. 
Yeah, I really want to go check that, that, that statue room. It'll let us yeah. decide what we want to do next section. I mean, no one's done that before, right? I mean, yeah, let's just go look first. Let's go look. I mean, let's go as far as we went. Yeah. Okay. Go I ahead and tell me, tell me how to get there, and then, yeah. Okay, so we go from uh, where we are. Um, I guess we leave the treasure chest in this um, in this hallway, and then uh, one second, and then we go back out to where we came to the. Oh, this is a long one. To the uh, intersection, the T intersection with the um, pit the trap. trap. This time we head north from there, and then we go to. There's a four-way intersection, and from there we go east. Um, there's another four-way intersection, and we go north from there. And then there, there was a secret door that went to that banded area, um, but we go east. There's a pit trap, and we kind of circle around, uh, going east, then south, then east, then south, and um, then back to the west, where there was a, two strange rooms. One of them had wind in it, but we um, go way down south, south, south for about 80 feet, and then jog a little bit to the west, then south, then back east, and then north, and then we're right in a small 30-foot east-west hallway that has a 30-foot northern hallway with a door in it that leads to this room. All right. I'm going to describe... Ever that area? Sorry. The... What's that? Sorry. Did we ever connect it to the other area? I don't think we did. No, yeah. we haven't yet. Uh, I'm going to describe this four-way... Inter- uh, this I'm sorry, three-way intersection here uh, that forms kind of a, a horseshoe. Um, this... This loops back in a hallway, okay? Um, The walls here are um, defaced. Um, It looks like there are, um, you know, the walls are stone down here, and it looks like the wall has, uh, something has cleaved the stone, and and chunks have fallen out of it, and it's all along the floor here. Um, And then you have the short hallway here, 20 feet long and it goes to a door Uh, the door is open and inside are glowing from your light gleaming statues inside that you can see in an altar what do you do okay I don't know we want to check the right let's go in there okay I'm going to stand at the door with my shield up. I I'm... believe I checked for traps last time. If there's no slime, I'm going in the room. Okay. I look up. There's no Please slime. Look. All right. Did you check for slime and bugs? Why don't you get back outside the, the door at the moment? I don't think we had it active. But I I'll can't, I can't remember. Okay, traps. Yeah, do it. Oh, okay. like, use everything. You find traps. Okay. Um... There is a trap that you can sense back here. Oh. Um, And then, um, other than that, there is uh, no traps that you sense. Do you want to use it to check the hallway there? Let's get the dimension of this. I'm yeah, sorry, go back. John. Hold on, hold on, John. What were you saying? Go sorry. ahead. No, you go ahead. Well, you're, you're talking. I was asking if we want to go back and connect, connect it to the other area of the map. You're the oh, caller. The traps is happening. You're the I caller. I think we should. Just do it. Yeah, sure. but let's come right back here. Uh, okay. Uh, is that the hallway that's to the east down here? Is that what you're talking yeah. about? Yeah. Uh, it. Me- it it just connects, uh, so I don't, I don't think there's any usable gameplay here. I don't usually do this, but in this case, I'm okay. eager to do it. No, 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 it's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take um, if I can find him. Uh, I'm gonna take Magnus here just so you see it. And I'm gonna pan him just so you can see what's going on, because it's not gonna be a surprise. Okay. Um, okay. Like that. That that's it. You, you don't have anything going on there, right? So. Okay. Good. Yeah. 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 Refreshingly that straightforward. Board? Where. Um, Father Bloombad found that detected a trap just outside the door there. Like, where exactly is that? Where the walls were cleaved in or whatever? Uh, yeah, let me put the the light here. And uh, you, uh, Father Bloombad, you feel a trap 
uh, in there, and in fact, it has a shape. It has a cylindrical shape to it. Mm. In the walls, cylindrical shape. Like cylinder a... facing like cylinder facing the inside towards us. Yeah. Is it like Indiana Jones ball cylindrical size or? I'm sorry, I'm wrong. It is not a cylindrical shape. It is a rectangular shape. Rectangular. And is this, how far in the wall is it? Is it right, is it like 10 feet in? Like in a room that we can't see or? Uh, yeah, it's a, uh, um, so let me put Father Bloombad right up to where the wall is, where he could sense it. And it's 15 feet that way. Okay. Okay. Well, we want to. Do we want to do the statue room, or do we want to search for the secret door down here? Yeah, that's weird, eh? While, while I have this spell going, because if we can get into that room, I can see exactly where the trap is. We can yeah. try to do that. Okay. Um, okay. I'll bring you all back. Um, everybody can roll a d6. I'll roll for the magic user. Scour the walls all along here. Oh, nice. Yeah, I got a one. Uh, Father Bloombad, it's clear to you that it's merely a stone that's covering a portion of the wall here. Uh, the wall is uh, about knee height uh, where that stone is covering it. You push it aside uh, and you can see that someone has uh, put a hidey hole here where the wall has been weakened. Uh, how many feet? In, in depth is the stone block I removed. Uh, it's probably only four feet or so wide and maybe three, four feet tall or so. You just kind of push it out of the way. Um, How deep and then, is it? Yeah, in the lantern light, it, it goes all the way into a new, another room back here that's uh, about uh, 20 feet deep. And the trap so there's is in still, there. Yeah, it's like 11 feet in for the trap then, right? Uh, yeah, so this, um, by the way, this occurs, so uh, the, the, this part of the wall you find right here, but the trap is back here. Yeah. Okay, uh, cool, cool. So I'll, I'll try to open the secret door then. All right, you do that. You remove the stone and you find a, a crawl space into a hidey hole. Yeah. Oh. Like that, eh? Well, uh, Flanagan says, uh, I mean, I, I've, I've done a lot of, I haven't been the kindest person in the last few days. I'll go in first. <laughs> Give me a lantern and All right. you can pray for me. I'll hand I'll hand you. Okay. I have utmost faith in you, sir. Um, okay. Uh, you go in, you see a room that's 20 feet by 20 feet, and someone has found a chest and they have hidden it back here. Oh, my God. Y'all yes. better be Irony, we wouldn't have found a chest if it weren't trapped. Yeah. That's amusing, hey? That's funny. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Because we wouldn't have looked here. Oh, no. No way. Uh, Whew. Okay. Uh, uh, let's... I'm proud of us. I, I I, like I'm going to call on, and I'm going to whisper to him, and I'm going to say, uh, I know you've taken risks today, my friend. There'll be a little something extra in it for you. I expect I'll that. I expect, a, I expect a bonus on this one. You hear me? You'll have it. You, you, also, you know what? Do, do you spend 40 minutes letting him try to inspect this, this thing and try to find the trap? Uh, yeah. Can I explain the dimensions of the trap from what I can see of it to maybe good, help him? Good point. Yeah, if you, if you come in, if you come in and you describe it, uh, actually, if you come in, it's still active, uh, and you look at it, you can sense where it is. That it's a plate that's directly under this. Okay, yeah, explain this to him. <clears throat> huh. That's a tricky thing. We move the chest, we activate the plate. Take anything out of the chest, we activate the plate. What do we do? Put something okay. heavy on it. Can you open the chest? Yeah, there's no lock. He opens the chest. Uh, inside of the chest is um, another heavy chest. Someone had, someone in the past had tried to plunder this place. They had found many of the treasures kept here from its inhabitants. There are thousands of gold pieces and diamonds inside. It's a very wealthy hall. Ah, uh, wow. Can you repeat whether, so there's a plate, if the weight changes, then the, the, tri the, ch the trap is activated, right? Uh, it's on a plate. So yeah, he's, and so yeah. 
Yeah. Do we, is there any indication of like wh where the rest is? There like a ceiling that's going to cave in, or do you look up at the ceiling? The, yeah, like where does the trap? Is it just the plate that detects as a trap, or is there anything else that's like? You you look at the ceiling and um, and you see that there's a section of the ceiling that is segmented and different. And I'll just draw it where it is. It's uh, it's right here. Oh. So maybe, I don't know, do we want to take a risk here uh, and push this thing to the side and be out of that area or put a rope around the chest and just move it a little bit, be completely out of the room and yeah. like the, yeah. maybe the ceiling collapses or... Now, of note, if you're out of the room and you do that, you will be pulling the chest where the thing comes down. Right, yeah. I was Unless... saying we set up a system of pulleys by uh, yeah. using my collection of pythons to create anchor points that the rope can rotate around. All right. Yeah. If I cre like, uh, if I create a little python here. If you if you here. want to do that, go go gadget. We can do it, but I'm just gonna make three monster rolls and just move the time forward. Oh. I'm not even gonna That's check. Only time. Yeah, yeah. Perfectly. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna roll them. All right. Let's see if any happen. Uh, well, I think you, you might have a. Oh, I yeah. think you might have some. If a trap triggers of literally the ceiling falling down, I think you might be doing a roll anyway. So it doesn't much yeah, matter. I'm even going to do another roll because I'm that cruel because it's a lot of noise and it still doesn't happen. Yeah. So you're able to. You all have depopulated this place. To be fair, <laughs> yeah. so you you pull yeah. through these pulleys and the pythons. You can see the pythons like the the dust and stuff and uh, uh, the stone shake loose from the the walls. And you drag this thing weighs like 500 pounds. It takes everyone to do it. Um, oh, God. And, and then, sure enough, you drag it this far and then just. And the whole just room just turns into a thing of debris as this thing crashes down. Uh, now you're able to come in and move this gigantic piece of furniture. There's only one thing left on this level. I will assume in the time that we have left that, you know, you come up with a way to get this stuff out of here. It's probably going to take a lot of work yeah. and every single one of you are going to be loaded down going back to Zelkor's Ferry. Yeah, in a good um, way. Yeah. There is actually one other door we have not checked. <laughs> I do not know where that is. Do you know where that is? Let's do this one first, hey? Yeah, uh, yeah let's not worry about it. We're not going to have much time anyway, so. I was just thinking yeah. about the time, yeah. Yeah, all right. So uh, in this room, let me describe what you see in this room. I'm going to pan the camera back to you all. Uh, you see um, 11 alcoves, 10 of which contain statues that appear to be idols or religious statues of some forgotten god. They're different in style and appearance, but they all have one characteristic in common. All of them are depicted holding dice, cards, or some sort of gambling imagery in their hands. One alcove that doesn't contain a statue is the one at the middle of the north wall, directly from the entrance. This alcove contains an altar with a bowl-shaped indentation in the top. Um, each of the three alcoves in the room's northern wall have indented impressions of a hand pressed into the back wall of the alcove. Mm. Similar like to the teleportation ones? Yes. yes. Um, do you, do any of you, can any of you detect, uh, whether this place is a blasphemed site or something? I mean, we, a long time yeah, ago, man. we detected evil somewhere around here, and I wonder if this is the place. Good question. I don't have it on me, right? Uh, does it do evil, so... How about you, Bloombad? No? Okay. I don't know, I just feel like we've, we just got a lot of treasure. I don't. Yep. I, I feel like we should just steal this room off and never go in here. I don't know why. Oh no, I, I, I disagree with like that. Me, but, uh... I disagree with that. I'm, I agree with we don't have. Since you mentioned, because I've never been in a teleportation anything. If this looks like a, a same type of thing as a teleportation thing, I say we can't touch it now because we, you know, meta here. Uh, we won't have time to do anything if we get teleported. So, uh, 
I would say, let's go out with the treasure, but I still want to return here. But if you I'm find a new level, cover. even via cover. teleportation, then you get the benefit of appearing there the next time if you choose to navigate to it. I right, but what happens if we get separated, and then how do we play that? I don't, think, I don't think we should do it, because we still haven't gone to the damp level, which was still on our itinerary. Okay. Yeah. We're so, not going to make it there, I don't think. Well, not tonight, but I'm just saying it's. We already know there's a level we need to check out and maybe try to connect. Can we uh, go down the south corridor to where it connects to the uh, the pit trap on the floor? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. uh I, I moved uh, Magnus along, and yeah, it just connects. Yeah, we saw it. Well, no, there's a door to the north of there. Um. Uh, where where the number four is written on? Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah oh. Um. I am not going to, let me make sure, yeah, hold on just a second. Um, I'm so, this I'm, hear, guys. I'm hearing you say that you're, you, you're not going to experiment with this room. Only because we don't want now, to teleport separately. Uh, yeah. Okay, so. Maybe another night, but not tonight. Are you going to seal this room off and like hammer it in and, and no, or something? No, no you're just going to leave it open. Okay. So let me just uh, switch you back theater of the mind because I, I don't think this is, uh, I, I, again, I don't usually do this, but like you're so close and this is just, there's not a lot of gameplay here. Uh, Caden, you lead everyone back to that room that you're talking about. You enter the room, it's empty. You search the room, oh, okay. it's oh. empty. It's an empty room. Yay. Um, so okay. you, you work hard to uh, move this, what is essentially a ton and a half of gold pieces and silver coinage and, and gems. Uh, awesome. And you make it back. Um, uh, I'll, I'll give you just a quick kind of like sense of, of how much stuff you find. Um, and, and I'm sorry. Let, Heretic, we were, items. you were going to say something? I'm a level five easily. Nice. Okay, yeah, yeah this is... so. Yeah. Here's some things that you find. Um, first of all, a clearly a a clearly magical dagger, uh, a a case of diamonds uh, worth at least 2,500 gold pieces. I'll put all this in chat. I'm just letting you know. Mm -hmm. uh, 2,070 gold pieces, 3,072 silver pieces, 5,184 copper pieces, wow. and then in the previous room you basically found where the treasure was in this this level like this was the yeah wow um, cool uh and and also the bad thing didn't happen that that the the author of this wanted to happen um yeah. would, which which would like would have been interesting yeah that was uh, <clears throat> Except uh where is the uh real quick and then and then i'll bring this so close that would have been horrified. um here it is uh, one, another 1,220 gold pieces, 5,220 silver pieces, a brooch that's silver, that's spider shaped. I apologize. It's a brooch. Uh, and it's encrusted with, encrusted everywhere with jewels, um, worth probably 2,500 gold pieces. Goodness gracious. Have number again? 2,000. You don't have to record any of this. I'll put it in chat, but yeah, no, okay. I, I'll even divvy its value up. In fact, uh, if anybody has to go to work tomorrow, uh, you, you can go ahead and go. That's the end of the session. Now, you make it back. Well, but actually, before you do that, you make it back to Zelkor's Ferry. You have essentially found in the mouth of doom its, uh, its treasure kept there by whoever had hidden it long, uh, long ago in the past. Whoever had tried to make a life for themselves here uh, at the border of the mouth of doom and failed, and you had seen their failures. Uh, you have uh, you have found what they had hidden, and um, nice. and that's it. Other than you know whatever is in that room with the statues, yeah. uh, but you make it back safely, and that is the end of the session of gameplay for the night.